Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Today, I actually got an electronic review, and this is another Boost Mobile cell phone. Now, I don't do tons of uh, cell phone reviews, but when I do get a phone, I do share it for the most part. Um, and um, you know, this is one that was been on my radar for a while. If you're new to the channel, I'm a talker, so um, you know, if you don't like that. There's the door. So we're going to talk about uh, Boost Mobile, why I like Boost Mobile, and why I think you should give it a go. So the phone there, uh, Dish Network, is actually, to the best of my knowledge, who owns Boost Mobile right now. And I believe they're using the, the old Sprint and T-Mobile network. Due to like a lot of merging and stuff, these, sell, these companies start to overlap, and then you get you know better coverage, right? So that's my understanding now. Um, as far as you know, coverage in your area, I encourage you to check their map if you are interested in Boost Mobile. Um, again, that's just a tool, you know. Um, for instance, in my area, my old town's got great coverage. Uh, for some reason, in my area, I just kind of have a little bit of a dead zone. So don't be wrong, it still works. But the, the cell signal, the data transfer rate, um, definitely not as good in my particular area and my parent street. It still works, but again, you're going to have to kind of gauge um, where you live. And again, use the map, see what they got, right? But um, as far as Boost Mobile, they were, I started out under Virgin Mobile, and then uh, Boost, I believe, acquired Virgin Mobile. I don't know through, again, if you guys know, drop me a comment and explain it. Uh, again, I can look it up. I just don't care. I really would it comes down to. I, I'm real simple about it. Um, what, what kind of deal am I getting? What kind of service? And what kind of phone? That It's as easy as that, right? So this is one thing I really like about, these are considered like prepaid companies, but they're not prepaid. They're taking it out of your account every single month like any other phone company. Uh, so when some folks, I hear it a lot of times by, you know, whether it be people I've worked with or pre people, you know, I'm friends with or just random people I happen to be talking to. Uh, who do you got? Oh, Verge, Verizon. Oh, great. Greg. T-Mobile. Yeah, good. Oh, Boost Mobile. Oh, you know, I don't know. It, it's not, it's not like that. You know, you know, these prepaid companies used to have really bad cell coverage, right? It's not the case anymore. They're as good as anybody else. Again, that depends on where you live, but the coverage that I have, when I look at the coverage across the country, is pretty fantastic. I never understand why anybody goes out and finances their phone. Now, in just to let you guys know, Boost is kind of doing something now lately where you have the option to do that, but you still, the price of the phones is super affordable. So the one that they reached out, Dish Network reached out and sent me the brand new Celero 5G. Here's my story. I have the original Celero 5, uh, 5G, excuse me. Celero 5G is the first one I got. Um, they sent me the 5G Plus, and we're just going to talk about, I'm not going to tell you guys all about the 5G. I'll put the link to this video in the description. I'm not here to do testing of the phone and to, you know, give you guys a huge in-depth review. Just giving you guys the real basic stuff that you could find on their website. So for the you gamers out there, I wish you would have did this. Like I'm not doing all that. I don't use my phone for gaming. I use it for the basic stuff. Streaming, you know, to the TV, uh, music, in my car music and to pick up the phone, call mom and dad, uh, call a friend once in a while. Um, I'm not, you know, into all that other nonsense, right? I just want it to work good and be fast and efficient, right? So very happy with the original Celero. Um, when we look at the phones that I've had, just so you guys know a little bit about my resume uh, with this company, um, just to give you guys an example, I've had many different phones under Boost. I've had the ZTE, which just turned on. The ZTE, I've had the... Uh, what is this one? The LG, this is one of their st stylos. I've had another LG stylo. I think this is the four. I've had the, uh, this was one of my favorite phones, the LG. Just everything about it, just it feels good. Uh, the weight, I mean, I don't know. It just, it just feels like a really great phone. It died. This is the only phone that I have. People are like, oh, you gotta go brand name. Here's brand name. It's dead, right? It's the only one of these phones that's dead. Uh, the Celero has been great. I'm super careful with anything that I own. I take care of my things. Um, I did put a crack in it. It just happened to fall, if you can see that. Perfectly flat down. It hit a little tiny stone on the ground, which caused a little shit crack, and it went across the whole top of the phone. So I've been wanting to get a new phone for a while, but I've been very happy with the Celero products. Um, and very happy with, with Boost Mobile. They're, again, everything about their brand is great. And what I find about their brand is when I first started under Virgin and they were acquired by Boost, 
every time I turn around, they're making the plan better and more affordable, right? So like first I start off with like two gigs of data and I never, I think at first it was one gig and I never really use it much because I'm always on Wi-Fi. Then it was up to two and they just give you more and more without asking for it, right? So I've been very happy with this company. So you can imagine my surprise when they reached out and said, hey, we got the brand new 5G Plus. So um, they've made some improvements to the original 5G. Uh, here's what it looks like. I like the fact that they um, have a very simple kind of, uh, very kind of like matte finish back. Some of the other ones like the LG, it's real shiny. I don't, it doesn't really make much of a difference to me, to be honest with you, but I like the fact it's not like green or any kind of weird kind of color. Um, you have four, uh, you do have a, uh, one of these is actually your LED light, your flashlight, and then three camera lenses. Again, I don't do a lot of uh, photo work. I probably should start doing this for the YouTube videos because it probably records better than my camcorder. But very similar to the original, uh, let me just pop the original seller out of the case here, uh, which, will bring, which will bring me to my one gripe with this phone. Uh, let me just try not to break this because I do still use it on Wi-Fi and stuff, right? All right, so you can see a size difference here. So the screen size, I believe, on the original Celero 5G is, I believe, it's a 6.5. Uh, now, a lot of times when we're, you know, when we, for, I don't know if you're like me when it comes to cell phones, I'm always like, oh, bigger, 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 because I use it so much. Um, I'm not really concerned with the portability. You know, if it's something that's going to be annoying carrying, I'll get like one of those holsters for it. I'll just keep it in the car. Uh, so, you know, I'm always interested when a company's making a larger phone. Um, when you see it in the case, it doesn't really seem like there's much of a size difference. But when we compare it side by side, let me hope you can see that. Well, it's kind of hard to see by the video. Let me turn it this way here. Okay, let me cover the IMEI. You can see it's not, it's longer. But if I look at the, like, it's a little tiny bit wider. So, you know, in all honesty, you know, the size difference isn't really all that much. And the price on this is great right now. So, you know, for me, it was free. Uh, thank you, Dish. Um, you know, for me, I, I, I would have bought this at a later date only because my phone was cracked. The 7 screen although is huge compared to a lot of other brands. Um, I definitely, it will always go with a larger screen, but um, it's not much of a difference in all honesty. When you're actually looking at it on, I don't notice like it being that much easier to see. Um, I, I will state though, with the updated Android system, I believe this one's using 12, and I think the older one was using 11. Um, you are kind of, they kind of, Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but um, you can't get the icons too small. They're really spread out. So even when you bring the icon size down, um, and I don't want to, I'm not going to turn this on. Again, there's other guys reviewing the stuff. You can see more of an in-depth review. I'm just sharing it with you guys. Um, let me just kind of show you here if there's nothing kind of too personal on here. Um, give me a second, folks. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I'm just gonna kind of cover up the top here if I can. Oops, sorry folks, I'm not really set up to do like super in-depth review here, but you can see, well, they can't see. Oh, hang on a second here. Now, oh, damn it. <laughs> Amateur hour here, guys. Um, so the, the icons, you can see I have a lot more on the other phone, damn it. This isn't going to work, folks. I'm sorry. But my point is here is that uh, when we look at the icons, like on the home screen in the original cell row, um, I have, uh, what do we got? We have five in like the quick access section of it. With the new Android 12, it only lets you put four. So um, the other phone, I can do one, two, I can do uh, one, two, three, four rows, and then I can do five columns. With the new cell row, um, I'm limited to only having uh, four columns and three rows, so 12 versus uh, 20. So that's kind of a, you know, maybe I'm doing something totally wrong here, but it seems like they lock the icons. Um, I don't know if you can squeeze, maybe I'm just, like I said, maybe I'm doing something. If I'm doing something wrong, please tell me so I can figure it out because I would like to have more icons. Also, your Google search bar is much lower. So I find it really annoying sometimes when companies have, they come out with a new phone, whether it be a car stereo or whatever, uh, you know, so anything with a big screen, and then they limit like the data. And my point mentioning car stereo, some brands have this huge, like giant tenant screen, and then when you're listening to music, 
like the app that comes with it has like a little bit of like very small section for data. Meanwhile, you have this big screen with nothing on it, right? So this is kind of like what I compare this to. We have this big giant screen and just not a lot of like they don't let you put a lot of icons, you know? So I hope that that's something I'm doing wrong. But again, I just got the phone the other day and I haven't really totally set it up 100% yet. But, but overall, I mean, it's great. Um, another gripe I have is the power button here or the fingerprint sensor is kind of like it's not recessed like the original and so when you run your hand across it you can kind of catch it and I can kind of see like me damaging this in time um, it's much more recessed on the original Celero um, not a deal breaker of course but I would have liked to see something a little different another thing that I don't like about having the fingerprint sensor there um, I always I really liked how LG put it on the back so it's right here. And when you reach back there, it's just a very comfortable location to grab the phone, secure it in your hand, and press the button. And let's face it, the reason you want to secure this is that I cannot find the case for this. So the original Celro came with a, uh, a really nice clear plastic, you know, anti-shock absorbing case, uh, which I did, you know, end up getting just a simple, you know, brown protective case, which works great. Uh, um, you know, obviously I... I've dropped the phone before. I've dropped it several times and never damaged it other than the crack, uh, depending on how it lands, right? I'll make sure the next case I get, um, you know, hopefully, eventually, we'll have something to protect the, the crystal or maybe a little, a little lip. But um, right now, there are no cases. So I expected a new phone like this. Um, this is kind of like Celero's, you know, flagship new release. Um, I would have expected this to come with some sort of temporary case. It doesn't have one. So if you get this, just know that it's going to be a while before we see anything, I believe. Um, it is a pretty new release, and I can't find anything anywhere for any price. Um, there are a few on Amazon, but uh, from the re reviews I read, it doesn't. they don't really fit the phone properly. So um, nothing really specific yet. But... All right, so let's get, you've seen the phone. I mean, it's huge. I love it. Um, you know, putting those little gripes aside, awesome phone. So glad that they sent it to me. Um, like I said, I would have bought it eventually. Um, and, you know, it definitely adds, you, can, you probably can't see it here, but it definitely adds some size. You know, they definitely, it's definitely a, a bigger phone. You know, when you're looking at it, you know, I know I've used tools before whenever I'm looking to buy a phone. Like, is it, I think the, the common question a lot of folks ask themselves when they're looking to buy a new phone, they don't really need to, is, oh, it's a bigger screen. Well, how much bigger? You know, is it really much bigger? And, you know, when you compare these side by side, it is a much bigger phone, but, um, you know, is it like a much different experience? I'd say not so much, but I think if you are in the market for the price, I would definitely get it. If you have the original one and you, it's working great for you, you have no cracks in the screen, I'd probably hold off. Uh, maybe it'll come out with a seven and a half, then I'll need them to send me that. But uh, definitely, I think this phone's gonna do well. Now, the price on this was about 300 bucks. And, and let's face it, $300 is not that bad when you compare what other companies charge for phones. Most companies now, their little scam, or not scam, I shouldn't say, but their, their process is that you make payments on the phone, it's part of your bill, and you wind up paying like $800 on some of these phones. For me, uh, it's never worth it when it's something that you carry everywhere for the most part. Um, it's, it is gonna, it's, it's subject to damage. You know, you're using it all the time. I've dropped, I, as careful as I am, I've dropped my phones many times. Uh, so you really depend upon that case. But let me read you, uh, so if I didn't make it clear already, I love the phone. I just hope they come out with a case for it sooner. Somebody does. So the Celero 5G, uh, it takes smart. Phone, it's a smart, take smartphone to the extreme. I can't think of many brands that make a phone this large. Um, it is powered by a Snapdragon 695 processor. Um, you have that seven inch display with 120 hertz refresh rate and 50 megapixel camera. So that's awesome. Uh, 5,000, uh, it says 5,000 M battery life. I think that, it, um, I'm not sure if they have the right terminology there, M. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, I'm not going to read you everything. What I want you to do is click the, the link in the description and read about it directly. But um, again, I'm going to read you the basic stuff. Uh, you know, the 50 megapixel camera, I find for me personally, the, the real draw to this was really the size of the phone um, and, and the fact that the one was cracked. I think, you know, having 50 megapixel, what I find most of the time for whether it be YouTube videos or sending pictures online, 
you don't really need resolution that high uh, because unless you're going to print something or put it on a big screen, even putting it on a big screen, you, you don't need 50 megapixels to get a nice clear image. So, you know, just keep that in mind. More is not always necessary. You do have that fingerprint sensor. You can add multiple fingerprints. It's pretty standard across the board. Uh, and what they meant here was 5,000 milliamp battery. They just put an M. They forgot the AH. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. But uh, does have fast charging with, I believe it's 15 watts. Uh, charge is pretty fast, but I think it's not really any different than my original uh, Celero. does have 6 gigs of RAM, which is fantastic. When you start adding app on top of app, that's going to make a huge difference. I think the original Celero only had 4 which is still great. Um, and it says here the the, uh, the memory on it, the the storage space built in is 128 gigs. So that's fantastic. You can you're, you're gonna I mean by the time you start putting an app after app with if you have a lot of smart home tech and you use your phone with a lot of different apps, you can load that up 64 up pretty quick. So uh, my other phone I think had 64. This six gigs of RAM. 128 gig existing is fully featured, I mean, packed with power. Um, you you really can't go wrong with this. Um, what else? The connectivity, I'm not going to read you all about that. Just read it for yourself. It's a fantastic phone. I mean, for the price point, not even for the price point. I mean, just it's a fantastic phone at $300. For $150, it is incredible. And I never, again, I never understand why people, there's no difference. When you start looking at phones, whether through like one of the major players out there, you know, the big brands that we all hear about, you know, your, your AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and you're paying a lot more for the phone. I never understand why people would. Sometimes in the past, I've noticed that you could have the same phone on different networks and maybe theirs had more storage space, maybe a slightly better processor, and maybe more RAM. This, you don't need anything more than what this is supplying. I mean, that's a ton of RAM. That's a ton of space. And then I just add a micro SD card for all your music and pictures, and you're good to go. So it's a fantastic phone. Um, I encourage you to pick one of these up. Now, as far as Boost Mobile is concerned, and we're going to try to keep this, we're not going to try to keep this under 20 minutes. Their pricing is unbelievable, right? So just to give you guys an idea, I went ahead and recently switched my plan over from $35 a month to $25 a month. Um, I, I just don't, it, it's amazing because I was paying $35 and now I'm getting more for $25. So here's a couple different plans that you could choose. So if you're used to paying your $100 cell phone bill every month, cut that loose. <laughs> here's what you get. $15 a month. You $15, you get 5G and 4G speed. Again, that's depending on the phone. Two gigs of data, unlimited talk and text, mobile hotspot, and new bring. This is for new bring your own customers only. So if you're bringing your own phone, I don't know the criteria for that. 15 bucks a month. Um, if you are just a new customer and you're going to buy one of their phones, which you have a ton of choices, this is the one I'm on. 25 bucks a month for 5G, 4G speed. Unlimited talk and text, mobile hotspot as well, which is great. I mean, most companies charge you for that. New, this is for new customer only. I was able to get it probably because I was a, an old customer. I'm not really sure. But uh, then you have the uh, $35 a month, which basically just gives you, um, this is for anybody, 35 bucks a month, 10 Gs of data, 10 gigabytes of data, and then unlimited talk and text, mobile hotspot. And if you want to go unlimited, this gives you uh, 35 gigs at 50 bucks a month. You get 12 gigs of mobile hotspot. Uh, and then you can add a line for 30 bucks a month. And then you have your $60 plan, which is still so much cheaper than mo many folks. 35 gigs of data, 30 gigs of mobile hotspot, unlimited talk and text, et cetera, et cetera. So I think really the, the, the advantage to going with maybe the $60 plan is if you are using the mobile hotspot often for other devices, whether it be your car, that's a lot of data. I mean, I mean what really eats up data is streaming movies. And if you're not streaming a lot of movies, for instance, for me, I use my phone often for everything, but I'm usually on Wi-Fi. But when I'm not, I still use it quite often. And for me, I never even come close to the 5Gs, five, five, five gigabytes of data. So figure out what you use. And you know, if you have internet at your work, you have internet at your coffee shop, you have internet at you know your home, you probably use a lot less data than you think you do. Now, again, if you live in an area where you don't have internet, and that's a factor where you need your phone for everything. You know, I have, I have a, a buddy who he has a hard time getting anything where he lives. Uh, so he's using like mobile hotspots, stuff like that. You know, again, if you have a lot of different devices, this isn't going to be your option. But they do have other options if you're just looking for internet. 
Um, as far as like just mobile hotspot data plans, uh, you can get one of their mobile hotspots and you can get for 15 bucks a month, two gigabytes of data. Uh, 20 bucks a month to get you five, 25, seven gigs, and then 50 bucks a month, 35 gigs. So it's in line uh, with uh, what, you know, um, it's in line with what other companies are charging for like that wireless internet. Um, it says here also available with Acatel Link Zone 2. It says you're connected to 16 devices, portable, lightweight, and $9.99. I'm not sure what that is. They need to add more data there. Uh, but again, lots of different plans. If this phone is, if you're like, oh, this phone is just way too big, you can get the iPhones, you can get the, you know, pay monthly for a more expensive phone. Generally, you're going to pay more for your Samsung and for your, uh, your um, Apple products. For me, never saw a need to. To, to go with those brands, um, this works great. I mean, they have phones across the board, great price point. So, here's what I encourage you to do. If you are paying a lot of money with one of these other competitors, you know, monthly, 100 bucks a month, you're paying a lot for your service and you're looking at other options, don't be dissuaded because it's Boost Mobile. There is a stigma that, that prepay is not good and that's just not the case. I've been with, um, you know, again, Virgin or Boost now for, I, I don't know, seven years. I have nothing but good things to say about them. They make it very easy to swap devices when you want to upgrade. And the cool thing is when they come out with new phones, you don't have to spend a lot. Like if you're, let's say you have a TLC right now, a TCL, $69 phone, and then you see this phone. It's $69 versus $150. I mean, a lot of their phones, the Motorola 5G, Stylus 5G, $150. I was going to get that one actually before they came out with this one. Um, you know, they have... Uh, other the yeah, Samsung phones, the Galaxies, a thousand bucks, eight hundred bucks, twelve hundred bucks. I don't see the point in going with something like that. If you want to get the original, uh, slightly smaller uh, seller of 5G, you can get that right now for eighty bucks. Uh, it's a hundred dollars off. The only difference is again the screen size, the camera is sixteen megapixel. Uh, that one's operating on it says Android twelve. The new one's supposed to be operating on Android S, but I don't think it's on there yet which is kind of i have to double check that slightly smaller battery i mean you have the similar cameras as far as the specs uh the important stuff here 64 gigs of memory and it does not list the ram but i think it's i think if i remember correctly it's four three or four gigs gigabytes so um i'm sorry mega megabytes sorry all these specs. Uh, but anyway, you know, I mean, you can't go wrong. That's just half the price of what I paid for it. So, I mean, this is, Celero is a great company. They're making great phones. I have nothing but good, positive things to say about them. Uh, and if all you want to do is talk, and I actually thought about this as well, you can add a line. I may do this at a later date. You can get one of their flip phones for 9 bucks, add a second line. And then if you don't want to carry your big phone around, but you still want to have, a, you know, connectivity you can get one of their smaller phones i'll probably add with the prices here i'll probably add one of those uh at a later date just to have um you know just a standard simple teeny cell phone in my pocket just that i can you can get a hold of me you know not you but people can so anyway guys i want to thank dish for their generosity and saying this to me um absolutely i forgot to show you the box but you know who really cares um absolutely generous um and if you guys have any questions about the plan again i put the link in the description please use that link if you make a purchase so i can keep track of uh, you know my sales with them they are affiliate links so by all means thank you if you use them and if you guys have any questions whatsoever that i can help to answer uh, about the service about anything uh, i'm here for you so thanks for watching have a great day and take care